Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to insert or save multiple rows or bulk data from a grid view control into a SQL Server database table. And here we got the output. Let's add some values to the grid view control. Charan, charan at gmail.com. The salary is 15,000. Add values to grid view. The next employee name I'm adding Sam. Sam at gmail.com. 12,000. Add values to grid view. Let's add another record. Ben. D at yahoo.com. Salary is 41450. Add values to grid view. Now let's enter all the data whatever present in this grid view control. Insert grid view data. And here we got a message records inserted successfully. Let's check in the database table also. Execute statement. And here we got the results of this table. All the grid view records is inserted successfully into this table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have shown how to enter or add multiple text box values into this grid view control. Now my next task is, I want to save the bulk records. Whatever the values I have entered into this grid view control, I want to save them all into a SQL Server database table. So before writing the coding part, First, we'll open the SQL Server Management Studio. We'll create a new table. I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder as well as databases. I'm expanding the sample DB is my user database. Let's create a table in this sample DB database. Right click the sample DB, new query. Now, in this SQL query, I'm creating a table. Create table dbo dot grid view bulk insert is a table name now in this table I'm adding four columns the first column is a ID which is auto generate column ID int not null identity one comma one primary key comma the second one is a name varkar fifty email varkar fifty and the last one is a salary which is an integer type let's create the table execute and here we got a message command completed successfully. Let's check this table is created in this sample DB or not. Refresh the table. I'm expanding the sample DB database folder as well as tables. The table name is grid view bulk insert. And here we got the grid view bulk insert. Let's browse the table. Select top thousand rows. Uh, right now this table contains zero rows so my aim is whatever the records are in the grid view control i want to save them all the multiple rows or bulk data into this table grid view bulk insert so let's start the coding part open visual studio now in the source page after the grid view control i'm adding one button control open toolbox button control and here we got the button control I'm changing the text property from button to insert grid view data after that I'm adding one label control break toolbox label control and from this label control I'm deleting the text property label 
and this label message I'm using when the records are inserted successfully I want to display the message that's it we have done the designing part I switch to the designing mode double click the button control to which is the insert grid view data and here we got the button click event using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration so after adding the namespace next in the server explorer I'm adding the database name right click the data connections add connection I'm adding SQL server name after adding server name I'm selecting the database name the table we have created in the sample DB database so I'm selecting sample DB test connection it succeeded ok ok and here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections so we need the data source of this sample db.dbo I click the sample db.dbo go to properties and in the properties notice the connection string contains data source copy that part open solution explorer open web.config file now in this web.config file inside configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind come to the bottom in the button click events let's write the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes in this double quote now in this double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con we are inserting the records from the grid view control so we need the grid view rows for that I'm using for each loop grid view row G GR in grid view one dot rows property now in this for each loop I'm adding the SQL query string SQL query is equals to the SQL query is the insert statement insert into the table name is dbo dot grid view bulk insert copy that one paste here values at the column name is a name at the second one is email and the last one is a salary SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command this SQL command takes two parameters the first one is a SQL query command text comma the second one is a connection object which is a SQL con SQL com dot parameters dot add with value the add with value takes two parameters the string parameter name which is this one at name we need to add that one in the double quotes comma and the second object and the second parameter is the object value which is we are getting the value from the grid view control so gr which is this object dot cells the cells take the integer type which is index the zero dot text semicolon let's copy this one this here
the second column name is email and the third one is a salary the sales this one is a fun this is two after that let's open the connection string it's called conduct open method it's called conduct close method now between this open and close methods I'm adding SQL com dot execute non query method and the last one after the close method I'm adding level one dot text is equals to records instructor successfully that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results google chrome and here we got the output let's add some values to the grid view control charan charan at gmail.com the salary is 15,000 add values to grid view the next employee name I'm adding sam sam at gmail.com 12,000 add values to grid view let's add another record ben d at yahoo.com salary is 41450 add values to grid view now let's enter all the data whatever present in this grid view control insert grid view data and here we got a message records inserted successfully let's check in the database table also execute statement and here we got the results of this table all the grid view records is inserted successfully into this table that's it